My name is Terry Lilly, and I'm a marine biologist here in Hanalei, Hawaii, studying a very terrible coral disease that's been killing corals up and down the north shore of Kauai. The Morning Star boat was donated to our foundation, and our first trip is going to be down the Nepali coastline, where we're going to study the reefs to see if we can find out what's causing this massive coral die-off. We made some amazing discoveries diving off this beautiful boat with our research crew. The Nepali coastline is incredibly beautiful with cliffs that are straight up and down that go right down underneath the water. And the reefs along the Nepali coastline we don't think are going to be too affected by runoff or rain because it's very dry, almost desert conditions. This is a very famous part of Kauai here that people around the world come to visit and see. It's a great idea for us to go down and study the reefs off the Morning Star along this stretch of coastline and compare it with what's going on with the reefs in the Hanalei Bay area. Once we get to Nepali and we get anchored up, we take the little zodiac once again out onto some of the local reefs and take video and see if we can find any of the coral disease on this stretch of coastline. Due to the large surf along the coastline here and the lack of reefs that extend out to sea, it's mostly big round boulders and there's not much coral growth. Lots of fish, some great marine invertebrates like these cowrie shells, but not a lot of coral reefs. A great place to swim, a great place to enjoy with your friends, and a great place to dive. On our first several dives along the Nepali coastline, we didn't find any disease or really anything of concern. The reefs there looked healthy. We even went out and did a little spear fishing, but we didn't seem to find many problems like we did along the coastline a little bit north up in Hanalei. Going down to Nepali and staying aboard the boat to do our dive research studies has many benefits. We can also go out and catch our own dinner and enjoy the beauty of the entire area from sun up to sundown. So far after several days, We've gone up and down the Nepali coastline and dove at a number of places and really found some beautiful spots like these big holes in the cliff and you can take the zodiac in and out and this is really a, a good way to do scientific studies because when you have the morning star sitting outside you can go back and forth on the zodiac and study a wide area over a short period of time with several divers and several zodiacs. This beautiful cave has an opening out to sea and also an opening up into the air. We took the little zodiac into this circular cavern and you can look up and see helicopters flying over. We did some snorkeling inside this cavern to look to see if there were any corals and what condition they were in and everything looked fine. Our next dive we went down to Nualolo a famous place where a lot of the tourists come down on the kayaks and boats and snorkel. I was really stunned to find a massive amount of coral disease at this location. It didn't make any sense whatsoever because the rest of the Nepali coastline seemed to be very clean of any disease. We took the little zodiac into this calm harbor I spent a couple hours with the video camera documenting the reefs and found many, if not hundreds, of diseased corals with the big cyanobacterial lesions all over them. Most of the coral inside this beautiful bay has been killed by this deadly bacteria. This is quite an interesting scientific find. I don't think any of us thought we would find anything like this down the Nepali coastline. This is the main reason why we have to get out and study these areas all throughout the Hawaiian Islands to see what they look like. 
These big round white and yellow blotches are the dead coral. The beautiful brown colored parts are the live coral. This dead coral is filled with cyanobacteria that moves out across the live coral and kills it very quickly. I found a lot of this disease there and not much marine life left. When the corals die, most of the critters leave. This place is a very important site for tourism. Hundreds of thousands of dollars are made every year by taking people on boats and outriggers and kayaks and, and, uh, and all kinds of different watercraft down to this beautiful place. To let the reef die here is really a shame. Why is it dying? We really don't know. Maybe an underwater spring bringing down toxins from a high mountain swamp. One of the things that we're looking into right now. Over the next few days, Raj and myself and Patrick and everyone from the Morning Star, we went up and down the Nepali coastline on the little zodiacs, diving at different locations to find out what the reefs look like in each individual spot. Incredibly beautiful area. It's really important all throughout Hawaii for us to start documenting the reefs with video cameras so we know what they look like at this current time. With rising sea levels, changing in acid levels, runoff, pollution, pesticides from some of the genetic engineering companies, all of this stuff is raining havoc on the reefs throughout Hawaii. So we need to study them now and know exactly what they look like and monitor them over the months and years to come so we can document the changes to see if we have any problems like this coral disease. If you can see the value of studying our reefs throughout Hawaii and documenting them so we can see what is happening today with our reef systems, and you can see the value of having a research boat that can take scientists all throughout the island chain, please let us know. We have three nonprofits that we work with. All of the funds that are donated are going directly to our coral disease study, and you can be a part of helping document our reefs here in Hawaii and keeping them as healthy as we possibly can over the years to come. I have done over a thousand scuba dives now on the island of Kauai and every reef system every few miles is completely different. Some of the reefs have rough water, big waves, lots of currents. Other reefs are very calm, placid, lagoon style reefs. They're all different and each one of them throughout our ventures around Kauai has had at least some coral disease. Many of them have been completely annihilated with this coral disease, killing hundreds and hundreds of thousands of corals over the last couple years. Kauai is just the first step in our research project. Having the Morning Star, we can then take trips to all the other islands, have basically a floating hotel with all of our dive gear, living quarters, and research facility on site so that other scientists can fly in and out of certain areas and have their gear and their dive materials and stuff ready to go. This is super important because as we go to the other islands, when we find areas that have a lot of coral disease or any other problem with the reef, we can then have an emergency response team come in from the University of Hawaii and the other agencies to do detailed studies and hopefully to figure out what's causing the problem. Currently, there are very few studies being done on our reefs underwater throughout the Hawaiian Islands. We hope to change that soon once we get the proper funding to operate the boat all throughout Hawaii and staff it with the current and the best equipment possible for studying our reefs here in the Hawaiian Islands.